Good morning, friends. I think I finally got my environmental issues cleared up. I think we're ready to go today. Welcome to MAP. This is um, the page we're working on today is page 127. So let me pull that up for you and talk a little bit about it. Today, what we're going to do is it's inches and feet measure, estimate length and height. And um, you know, come to think of it, I should have brought a ruler up front. I've got it back in my in my storeroom back there. I'll bring one up next class and I'll show it to you. I don't want to walk away right now. Um, when we had our rulers, you remember Jamia had them sitting right over by her, all the little rulers. And we looked at the two sides of the rulers. They had the little centimeters, which were the little small little increments. And then on the other side, they had the inches, where, which were a little bit bigger, about this bigger. So the difference between an inch and a centimeter is a centimeter is about like that, and an inch is about like this. And um, I'll look in our virtual manipulative, see if I can find anything. Although I haven't found a lot on measurement in there, except that one that we did, that game that we did on Friday, where we did movie night measurement. Um, so I'll bring a ruler out. I'll go get it in my back back room after this class. But in, so we've got centimeters and we've got inches and then we've got feet. And a feet is a foot is the length of that whole ruler. It, it's 12 inches. So if you take 12 inches and you count them out, you get a foot. And a foot is the exact length of that ruler, those rulers that we use. Um, and today, we're, the other part of that is we are estimating. Now, to estimate, remember, to estimate means it doesn't have to be exact. We say, it's about this long or about this tall, okay? That's what we're doing is we're getting close. Now, if it's this big, you're not going to say it's 12 feet long, are you? No, because this is about an inch. It's not anywhere close to 12 feet long, which is way longer than my arms. That would reach into my next room. Um, so the things that we're doing, we're doing inches, feet, estimate, which means we're guessing, and then we're doing length, which is how long it is, and height, which is how tall it is, okay? So we've got a lot of things to do today. This first one, this page 127, we're going to do together. And then tomorrow, when we do math again, it'll be a review of this and I'll have you do some of this on your own. So let's pull it up. Here it is. And remember I told you inches and feet Estimate means to guess length, how long, and height, how tall. Okay, let me show you. It's page 127 right here. And the problem that I've had with some of this so far is that I have been having trouble with names on papers. Okay, um, I can tell you this. Kylie always has her name on her paper. Austin always has his name on his paper. Um, the papers that I've gotten from KJ have had his name on the papers. Ryland's name has been on her papers. So if you're doing papers for me, don't forget to have, put your name on them because I'm not going to know who say, oh, Jamia is another one. Jamia never fails to put a name on her paper, even in class. Good job, Jamia. Good job, all of you guys. Just don't forget to get your names on these papers. All right. Um, oh, Hunter's been a good one too about that. And you guys have all been doing a great job on your papers. Just don't forget to get those names at the top for me. Okay. All right. So what we have, what we're looking at today is they've got a great big ruler at the top of the page. See it right there? And they've got the inches. There's one inch, two inches three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And remember I said 12 inches equals one foot. Okay, 
That's how they measure it. 12 inches equals one foot. So um, today when we do our measurement, we're going to try to guess, do we think what we're looking at is measured in inches or measured in feet, which would be that big, okay? Let's do name and date up here. Okay. And here we go. Let's listen and repeat the directions together. It says, think of the real object. Circle the measurement, all right? We have a baseball and we're trying to figure out how far, how much around the baseball is. What is the distance around this baseball? Four feet or four inches are my choices. Remember, I said inches are about this big, feet are this big. So do you think if you're measuring around a baseball, you're going to do four inches or four feet? Okay, so if we look at four inches, it's gonna be about four of those, oh, about that big around, or four feet, four of these, which would be oh, about that big around. That would be a big ball, wouldn't it? So to say that a baseball, about this big around, if you measure around it, you're going to get about four inches. So we'll circle four inches right here, okay? And now the next one is asking us to measure between a, a car. Between a car, we have 10 feet or 10 inches. Now remember, 10 inches is less than a foot. A foot's this big and 10 inches would be right here. Do you think the length of a car is that long? A real car? Or do you think it's 10 feet? 10 of these. But if you measured a car out, you'd find that it's 10 feet long and not 10 inches long. So we're going to put 10 feet for this one. And now we're looking at a door, and this time we're looking at height, how high the door is, and if you can look in the doors in your house. And you try to try to imagine if they would be seven feet long feet long or seven inches long, which would be like these, seven of those. All right, let's have, let's start with Preston today. What do you think, Preston? Seven feet or seven inches on a door? I think probably seven feet is going to be our answer. All right, and now let's look at our directions. Oh boy, we haven't seen these for a long time. These are our old alligator friends. Look at those. Okay, we've got greater than, less than, or equals. These are our alligator mouse. This way, this way, or equals. Okay. Um, Remember the alligator mouth points to the bigger number or the one that has more, all right? And our first one says, can you read this for us, Hunter? Five inches, blank, five feet. And we wanna know which one is bigger. Let's pretend this is a length of, Twizzlers, yes, Twizzlers. Always bring it back to candy, friends. Really, it's a great idea. Twizzlers, I have a Twizzler that's five inches long. 
or I have a Twizzler that's five feet long, right? Which one is the alligator going to want to eat? Keeping in mind that alligators love Twizzlers, right? Okay, so five inches is about five of these, which is going to be about this long, all right? Five, a foot is this big. So we already know that one foot is bigger than five inches because one foot is equal to 12 inches. And we know that 12 is bigger than five, don't we? Right. So we already know that our five Twizzlers are going to be five of these long. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, that's a big Twizzler, isn't it? Wish I had that. All right. So if we look, which one is going to be bigger, five feet or five inches? And Hunter says five feet. So we're going to make our alligator open his mouth toward the five feet because that is bigger, right? All right. Next one we're going to give to Jeff. Jeff, I've got four feet or I've got five inches. And again, we're talking five inches is not even a foot because you need 12 of those to make one foot. So five feet or five inches is a lot less than 12 inches. So we already know that our feet are going to be bigger, right, Jeff? So we would say four feet are four of these. One, two, three, four of these and five inches would be about right here. So the feet are bigger than the inches. Right, Jeff? Jeff says right. Jeff says right. By the way, hi, Chantel. We miss you. I hope you're doing well. And Jeff's little sister, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, please forgive me. And Jeff's dogs, we want to say hi to Jeff's dogs too because he's got cool dogs. And also mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad, wave to them. Okay, back to number six. We're going to give number six to Miss Jamia. Jamia, oh, 12 inches or one foot. 12 inches or 12 of these, and one foot is one of these. But let's look at the top of our paper because it's going to help me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What do we see? 12 inches equals one foot. 12 inches, one foot equals, there it is. I can look right at the top of my page for my answer. And there you go. All right. And it's going to ask me to, my next part, my directions say, write inches or feet to complete the sentence, all right? We're going to try to guess how long something is, if it's this many inches or this many feet. Inches being here, Feet being here, keep that in mind. Are we measuring something long? It's probably going to be in feet. If we measure something small, it's probably going to be in inches. Let's have a look. Let's see, Jamia did our last one. This is up to KJ. Are you ready, KJ? Read number seven for us. A toothbrush is about seven blank long. Hmm. Is a toothbrush about seven of these long or about seven of these long? That would be a big toothbrush if it were seven feet long. Keep in mind, remember we looked up here. Remember this door? That's seven feet long. So do you have a toothbrush the size of your door? I hope not, but if you do, you're gonna to have to have some help to brush your teeth, right? So we would probably say, KJ would probably say that a toothbrush is about seven inches long. 
And here are my choices, inches or feet. So let's write inches right here. Seven inches long. And then we go down to number eight, and eight goes all the way back up to Ryland. Are you ready, Ryland? It says a hallway is about 23 blank long. Scribble in there. A hallway is about 23 blank long. A hallway. Think of a hallway in your house. I have a hallway that goes all the way from my bedroom back there, all the way down the length of the house to the kids' room in the end, John and Joe's room. That's a long hallway. Is my hallway about 23 of these long, Ryland, or 23 of these long? How long would a hallway be, Ryland? Ryland says these. And these are what? Feet, that's right. So about 23 feet long. So for this answer, oh, I keep wanting to use my regular ink pen and that won't work. 23 feet. Uh, pen ran out of ink again. Feet. 23 feet long. Very good. Kylie, you've got the next one. Are you ready? The Statue of Liberty is about 305 blank tall. Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty. How big is the Statue of Liberty? Hmm, I should have pulled that up ahead of time. I did not. And if I do it, I'm going to lose my share, so I don't want to do that. Uh, let's ask Google. Okay, Google, show me a picture of the Statue of Liberty. Aha, there it is. There's a nice picture. Can you see it? I'll get it right in there. There she is. That's a statue. And if you can see the ground down below and the sky up above, wow. How big would that be? How big is the Statue of Liberty? Whose turn is it? I think this is Brianna's turn. No, we're still on Kylie, right? The Statue of Liberty is about 305 blank tall. 305 of these or 305 of these? What do you think, Kylie? Kylie says feet, 305 feet tall, and that's about right. Okay, thanks Google, you're a real pal. Google seems to work better than Alexa. All right, so now we're down at the bottom. And the answer, the question says, solve, write a sentence to answer the question. Ready, Brianna? Brianna's gonna read this one for us. It says, Jason, has one rope that is 13 inches long. He has another rope that is eight inches long. How many inches of rope does Jason have? Okay, I'm gonna come back here because I want to do something important with it. Let's take our red. And remember, we said, if you remember over on the chart, over on the wall in the classroom, we have a chart that tells us 
what steps we use to solve a word problem like this. And the number one step is read the whole thing. We'll check, we've already done that. The number two pro or the number two step is to find the math question. What is the math question? What does Mr. Math want to know? So please do this with me. I'm going to have you underline the math question with me. Are you ready? The math question, questions end with a question mark, okay? And if we just trace that back and we know that sentences start with an uppercase letter so we can really just trace it back from the question mark to the capital letter, the uppercase letter. There it is. It says, how many inches of rope does Jason have? Please underline the math question for me. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do on our problem solving steps is we need to figure out the operation word. Does this word tell us we are going to, does this sentence tell us that we are going to add or subtract, okay? We need to find the math word that tells us right here. These kind of these two words in here, how many do we have? How many do we have? And if you remember up on the wall, we used, looked in the subtraction or the addition and um, when we're putting them together, we want to know this one and this one. How many does that make? That is what, Brianna? Addition, that's right, that's an addition. So when I do my line, circle, line, circle, line, Brianna says, I need to put a plus sign right in here, okay? Plus sign right in here. And so if we have a plus sign in here, we automatically know what goes in here. That is an equal sign. And now all I have to do is fill in my information. And my information here, I have one that is 13 inches long and one that is eight inches long. Okay. And all I have to do is add 13 plus eight. No problem at all. I can use my touch points. Do I have to put touch points on my big number? Nope, where does my big number go? Where does my big number go, Preston? Goes right in my head. Okay, so my big number's in my head, my little number is right here. And I have 13 and I have eight touch points. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's an eight in touch points. Remember, you've got double dots here. You've got four double dots because when you double the number four, you get eight. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So here's how I counted. I go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. So my answer is 21. Okay. And now let's do a little writing for this. It says, Jason has one rope that is 13 inches long. He has another rope that is eight inches long. How many inches of rope does he have? Well, we found the answer to be 27. So we're going to write a sentence that says, Jason has 21 what, feet or inches? We said inches, inches. Can't write hot dogs, he doesn't have 21 hot dogs. Inches of rope. You hear the cat outside? 
she wants in. I'll let her in after this class. Jason has 21 inches of rope. Let's don't forget our uppercase letter, our period at the end. We'll make it a super sentence just for the fun of it. Let's talk about super. Always a good time to talk about super sentences. My subject, who's doing it? Jason. Uppercase letter, there's my uppercase letter in Jason. P, my predicate, what, did, what is Jason doing? Jason has, usually, usually your predicate is right after your subject. E, my end mark, here it is right here. And I've got rests in between and my sentence is right. Very good, see, we put a little English in our math today. Sprinkle it up kind of like um, whipped cream on top of your hot chocolate. Hmm? All right, having said that, it is um, a great job that you did on math today. Very good. And we will, if you need to rewind this or pause it, whatever you need to do to get all your answers, don't forget to get all your answers done. Okay, get all your answers on here. And um, next class will be handwriting. So I'll see you for handwriting. Oh, and I gotta remember to go get that ruler. All right, I'll see you for handwriting in just a moment. <laughs> 